it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with the last day of 30 weeks, 30 days, September 2023. Bittersweet. The last day is always a little happy, a little sad. Um, yeah. But before we talk about today, let's take a look at yesterday's ink. Look at that shimmer. Has that gorgeous sheen, that shimmer, that beautiful red. I love the writing. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, oh my gosh. This has been such a pretty month. So, um, a few, let's see, a couple weeks ago, almost, almost like three weeks ago, let's see, we did an ink called, where is it? Um, Tuna Gray from Wonder Pens. Well, I also have the second ink in that pair of Wonder Pens exclusives, Ginger Chicken. And I think a lot of people, ignore my hands, um, a lot of people, well, I don't know if a lot of people, but I'm sure people are wanting to see this one. I feel like this is the most popular of the cats from Wonder Pens. Um, so this might be out there a lot, but I have wanted to get it in a pen myself. So I figured it's a nice orangey brownie fall color. And, um, I think it'd be perfect to send us from September into October. So the pen that I'm going to be using is my Pilot Custom 74 in blue. Um, I have a medium nib on this pen and I used it. I think I used it last time I did a 30 inks or I did it in a currently inked or something. I don't remember exactly which ink I used in it but I've used it recently and I really enjoyed the writing experience and I just want to use the pen again. Um, I know Simone um, has or had a custom 74 that she used quite off used or uses. I don't remember the status of her custom 74 um, but I know that she used it quite a bit and um, it um, it inspired me to pick up mine because mine has been sitting in a pen case unused and unloved and I'm like well do I really like this pen? Do I want to um, I just want to make sure that it is one that I do want to keep around and I love the nib and I like the writing experience. It feels really nice in the hand. The only thing I don't like about this pen is the converter. I hate cleaning it out. Um, filling, I usually hate filling it as well, but filling it was fine. I filled it from the bottle of ink instead of using a syringe like I usually do and it filled just fine. So I think I finally figured out how to fill the Con 70. Um, but yeah. I just, yeah, wanted to use it and I think brown slash orange look good with blue and, um, yeah. That's the, that's the pen we're going to use today. It's like a really burned orangey brown sort of color. And uh, yeah, we've kind of gone invert, inadvertent rainbow started with red and then orange again. I don't, I, I don't know if you'd call this more of a red or an orange, but it's Dominant Industries times Wonder Pen. Ginger chicken. I did a little swatch. Um, somebody in Simone's Discord was wanting to know how ginger chicken looked next to Earl Grey tea and um, a couple of other a pumpkin and um, autumn oak from Diamond. I don't have autumn oak, but. I did have the others, so I did a little swatch in here. I could show you all too in case you want to see it. I think I've shown it off before as well in another, in a different video. I don't remember which one, but we'll show it here too since it's relevant to the ink. We are heading into my favorite month of the year, not just because it's my birthday month, but because October is just special. Anne of Green Gables said, I love living in a world with Octobers. Um, okay. I'll show you the page in a second. We'll go ahead and get our splat page ready. This is 30 inks, 30 days, September 2023. Day 30. We did it. Okay, the ink is Dominant Industry. 
time is wonder pen pens ginger chicken and the pen is a pilot custom 74 blue with a medium nib I still wish I would have gotten the violet one but now that one is long gone I can maybe find it for sale somewhere but I haven't looked very hard because it's not a necessity it's just a just kind of a a little bit of a want a tiny bit of a want definitely not a need I mean are any of these needs probably not good news about uh, 30 inks being over is now I can actually clean my desk pad and it will make a difference. Um, I don't know what this looks like, but we're just going to keep going. Does it look like a chicken yet? It looks like an insect. It looks like smashed pumpkin pie filling. I don't know. What does it look like to you? Tell me. Let me know in the comments. Inky Rorschach test. I love how this looks in writing. Would you consider this brown? Or would you consider this like a really dark burned orange? Because I go, I lean both ways towards it. Here, I'll show you. Is this dry enough? Um back here somewhere yeah here so here's dominant industry earl grey tea here's ginger chicken and then there's diamond pumpkin which is like so bright because it looks brown next to earl grey tea and pumpkin but by itself some of that sh those shading spots look orange so i don't know i don't know does it matter maybe not i'm just curious i'm just curious what y'all think let me know in the comments um, okay so you have Dominant Industries times Wonder Pens, Ginger, Chicken. Seventy-four with a medium nib. last heart of the month the last automatic pen of the month move that out of the way There we go, we did it. We did it. We finished 30 inks 30 days. Can y'all believe it? Thank you for coming along for the ride with me this month. I know it was a little bumpy at times. Thank you for all your patience. And understanding I've thought about like doing like maybe like a week-long recap sort of thing but I just don't want to I like the daily videos even if I end up getting behind and a life intervenes and I ha end up having to post four videos in a day to catch up I like the individual video because um I just do. Plus, if somebody's looking for a specific ink and they find the video, then that's pertaining to their their search, their need, their want. And instead of having to watch like a video about seventeen other inks, I, you know, I don't know, or like seven other inks, I suppose, or six other inks, if it's if I'm doing a week, um, yeah, I just think it's better that way. Plus, then I don't have to, because I would feel like if I did, like 
the first seven days or five days or four days or whatever, I feel like I would still have to record a little bit every day because I do change these pens out. I mean, I don't change them out because obviously most of these are, most if not all of these are still currently inked. Um, I, you know, I do use the pen on the day and I do focus on using that for the day. And so I just, I don't know, like I like having it individual. So it's a lot more work for me and it's a lot more videos for y'all to watch, but uh, if you choose to anyway, like obviously nobody's forced to, but I know a lot of you do watch them every day. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling. We're sitting here looking at ink dry. Um, yeah, so I plan to be back in November. I'm hoping that I am a little more... I was going to say organized, but that would imply that I plan stuff out. I think what I want to do is I want to pull specific samples again. Um, a, a few more than 30, so there's a little bit of um, surprise and randomness and then throw them in the bin. But also, I liked when I use the shot container and then I have 25 set up. Even if I randomly pick it, then I just fill in the holes for the first five days. I, I like the idea of doing that again. Um... There's a bunch of samples that I wanted to use this month that I didn't get to because I was swayed by other things, either just wanting, either just not wanting to use those or getting new things in and wanting to use that and checking out old, old samples like this one that I hadn't gotten to, um, or like old bottles of ink that I hadn't used yet. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pre-film a lot of November and then that way we're... I was also thinking about like ink vent and stuff. Like maybe I start pre-filming November at some point, not today, at some point uh, pre-filming November and then um, and then I can swing into ink vent um, or using my next year's weeks for the ink vent so I can keep them separate. Um, I also have a weeks from this year that I never used that I can keep ink vent in. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have time to, to figure it out, but I feel like I want to go in with a tiny bit of a plan, <laughs> a tiny bit of a plan, or at least like an outline to help. November go a little more smoothly because we have holidays coming up and um, work won't be as busy because our fiscal year ends in October so we get a little bit of a tiny break at work um so yeah I don't I don't know I don't know what November holds I don't know what the future holds which is the problem but I know that I want to be a little bit more organized and I really want to put videos out on time. If I'm going to do them daily, I would like to get them out daily. And I think that things are at home are getting a little easier and a little better and we're getting into a normal routine again and I think it may be easy to do. But also I like the idea of pre-filming so if I don't, you know, I get to have a little bit of a break during the month of because... 30 inks months are so busy. So anyway, I don't know. Again, I'm rambling and making this video like 10 times longer than it needs to be. Thank you so much for spending September with me, um, whether you were here the whole time or if you just found me. Um, yeah, I just appreciate you. And thank you so much. And thanks for exploring all these inks with me. Did you have a favorite? Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to mess. Can I, do we have a, can I, uh, do I have a piece of paper or something I can stick here? Where's all that scratch paper from my ordeal um here I'll just put this I'll just put this in there well we're gonna end up blotting that swatch a little bit but that's okay um let's look at our month did we have a favorite did we have a standout favorite usually if I have a standout favorite I will end up getting a bottle of it I really loved Robert Oster detox I already have a bottle of Anna Green Gables. I really like that. I really, I'm surprised that I enjoyed the um, Colorverse Golden Gate Bridge as much as I did. Um, I'm also really surprised that I enjoyed Golden Barrel as much as I did. I don't need a bottle of it, but mm, I'm thinking about it. Um, hmm. <laughs> Is there a clear favorite? I don't know that I have a clear favorite. I really loved Detox. I really loved Pink Squirrel. 
Um, I really love that distressed leather. I really loved Rainbow Week. Rainbow Week was so nice. I loved It Smells Like Coffee, but I will just finish up that sample and call it a day. I love that purple too. I love that gray. Um, I think I'm still on Golden Barrel. I think I'm still finishing the Golden Barrel as far as transcription project is concerned. But once I finish up, I will be happy to flip through the month and give you an update on it. Um, yeah, I would love to do that. Um, I did get behind. When I got behind on filming, I got behind on the transcription because I was behind on videos. I didn't have time to make the video, so I definitely didn't have time to write a, a full page of Anne of Green Gables. So, um, it's not even that I didn't have the time. I could have made the time. I just got sucked into a video game right around here. So this week, this rainbow week was really busy outside of pen stuff. Um, I did a lot of streaming. I've streamed in September, so we did 30 and 30 days, but I've streamed almost every day of September. There's only been four days so far that I haven't streamed, and um, I'm, I'm probably going to stream tonight anyway, so four days in the month of September that I didn't stream video games, um, but this, this particular week was really crazy because I went back to Hollow Knight. Nobody cares about this. Not, some of you care about this. Anyway, I went back to Hollow Knight around maybe Sunday or Monday. I feel like Monday's when it really picked up. But um, yeah, I, I went back to Hollow Knight. Um, I ended up just getting, I ended up like the challenge that I was doing in Hollow Knight, which was Pantheon 3, for those of you who know Hollow Knight, some of you might. Um, I was stuck on Pantheon 3 since June and it finally like started clicking for whatever reason right here. And so I was like, I gotta play it till I get it. And then um, one of my uh, Twitch friends, it was their birthday. And so we celebrated their birthday and had a really fun time. And I got P3 on their birthday, which is extra special for me personally because I'm sentimental about stupid things. It's not stupid. I'm like downplaying it. I'm sentimental about a lot of things. And the fact that I got pantheon 3 on this person's birthday because this person has held my hand through hollow knight most of the way was just really really special for me so um yeah so that was awesome and then i pre-ordered lies of p which is the game i've been obsessed with i pre-ordered it and so i had early access on the 15th it came out on the 19th but i had early access on the 15th so i've just been playing 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 that and yeah that's where we are i'm almost I've almost, I'm filming this on the 29th, I've almost beaten the game. I don't think I'll beat the game tonight, but I could maybe beat the game tomorrow and we'll see. And anyway, rambles, rambles, rambles. Skip this whole part of the video, it's too late to do that. But <laughs> anyway, I've just been busy doing all of the things I love, which is ink stuff and video games and hanging out with people and just, my heart is full this September and I am just really happy to be here because yeah. Y'all are special to me, and my video game friends are special to me, and I'm just, my heart is full and I'm over the moon. So, thank you. Thank you for spending September with me. Um, I'm glad we made it through the month. I really didn't think I was going to make it through the month when I started. I was like, oh, we'll give it a few days and see how it goes, and I'm really glad I was able to make it happen, even though we had a lot of hiccups and bumps along the way. So, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Whether, again, whether you've been here the whole time or whether you found me some somewhere in the middle, just thank you for being here and spending any amount of time with me and um, our inks and our pens. And I hope that you had a fantastic month. And I look forward to seeing you in November for 30 inks. And I will definitely be seeing you in October with all of the videos that I filmed that I didn't feel like I could upload because of 30 inks and being crazy. So... <laughs> Thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope your October is amazing. And um, yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you.